fall on. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring in some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And what the goddamn hell your league? So, yeah, y'all, this lady, she invited this man over to her house, and Charlie robbed her. Let's get into it. Basically, I started talking to this guy on Instagram, and um, obviously I know him from TikTok. Basically, we were talking for like a couple days, FaceTiming each other and everything. Um, he's so nice, he's so sweet to me, and he basically says he wants to come to Tampa to see me. So basically, he books a flight to Tampa, and his cousin drops him off at my house. And he's so sweet, we're like um, dreaming, watching- Not booked a flight to Tampa. Not his cousin dropped him off. Why she got all this loud ass music? Movies and stuff, and she's so sweet to me, and not a red flag in sight. Okay, so basically, he's at my house watching movies, we order food, um, just drinking and stuff, and then it's like two in the morning, so we decide to go to sleep. So, we're both laying down in um, the bed, I fall asleep, and that's it, lights out for me, I'm sleeping, and then I wake up at 8 a.m realize he's not laying next to me i come out to my living room he's not there i check the door he left my house with my door lock unlocked so i text his phone and i'm like um hey you left and i'm blocked i go on instagram i'm blocked on everything blocked on twitter he, everything so basically i'm like okay let me go check my stuff because this is really weird and basically he robbed me of my rolex and something else, I don't know what it was that he took, but I have the video here so you guys can see. And you can see him right here. Oh, That's my purse. He's going through. Not got video. And he's going through my purse. <laughs> and then he finds my Rolex. <clears throat> nah, that's crazy. And he basically steals my watch and puts it on his wrist. And put this it is the pictures there. that I took of him at my house right before he robbed me. So if you see this guy, if you see him with a Rolex on, a bust down Rolex with all diamonds, he stole it from me. Do not trust this guy, okay? Do not let him in your house. Do not let him near you. He is going to rob you. Why do and this do is his that? Instagram. And this is another video of him stuffing something in my house under his shirt and putting it in his bag. Damn, he lame as hell. I wonder did he get the pussy too? If you have any information, let me know. Said I'd be lit by the end of the summer. And I'm Tell the guys just aren't it. And he really has the nerve. Damn. That's crazy. This is the watch. Oh. Y'all, that man got on her watch. <laughs> Y'all, he got that watch on. for a little two ounce shop a two ounce whatever you want to call yourself are you here give my friend back her watch give her her watch okay bye is good and gone do you hear me i'm talking gone as hell the fact that she thought she was getting that watch back Oh, she got it back. No, we don't do that. Your address, your address is on that. This is just for safety reasons for her opening your mail. She got a Rolex back. Because that's a federal offense. If you just didn't give her permission. That's all. That ain't it. Oh. Okay. Does it? 
Damn, he was scared. He was about to go to jail. That's crazy. I just cannot believe it. Like, nigga, just gonna keep doing TikToks like nothing happened. Only red flags within the first minute. One. Basically, I... Y'all, she didn't even have music. Somebody else added music. Started talking to this guy on Instagram. Two. And um, obviously, I know him from TikTok. Three. <laughs> basically, we were talking for like a couple days, FaceTiming each other and everything. Thank you. Um, he's so nice. He's so sweet to me. And mm -hmm. he basically says he wants to come to Tampa to see me. Mm. Did y'all hear her call out the red flags in the first 30 seconds? Counting the red flags two, within three, the first three, minute. One. Basically, I... Started talking to this guy on Instagram. Two. And um, obviously, I know him from TikTok. Three. <laughs> basically, we were talking for like a couple days, FaceTiming each other and everything. Yeah. Um, three so red nice. flags in so under 15 seconds. He, he basically says he wants to come to Tampa to see me. Mm. So basically, he books a flight to After Tampa and his cousin drops him off at my house. Four or five. Four and five. We're like um, <laughs> drinking and watching movies and stuff. And it's just so sweet to me. And not a red flag in sight. I literally counted five, Queen. So basically, he's at my house. We're watching movies. We order food. Um, um, just drinking and stuff and then it's like two in the morning so we decide to go to sleep oh my god so lying down in um the bed i fall asleep i literally counted five queen oh my god queen it's out for me i'm sleeping and then i that's six because she went to sleep before him wake up at 8 a.m realize he's not laying next to me I all right um it's like two more minutes of the story he stole he steals her rolex good thing he was a thief and not a murderer facts I completely agree because I forgot to include that. Thank God he was a thief and not a murderer. Also, thank God he sent the damn watch back. Why he took it and didn't sell it? I'm glad he didn't. Y'all, <laughs> listen. You already, you never know who people are, right? And you done known them for years and shit. But you really don't know no fucking strangers, man. I'm so glad I went through my shit in my 20s in my time, though. No? You know what I'm saying? Like, my, um, you know, my generation of me growing up in my 20s. I'm glad. I'm glad we got through that. I don't know. Because, oh, I feel bad for these people now. Okay? Like, in your 20s, you want to be free and you want to do dumb ass shit. God, and you just make the dumbest decisions. But it's so not safe now. It's it's sick. But anyway, y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.